Like I said, people, Ross is hot right now. Number five on the hottest cappers list. We're talking Miami at Buffalo. Dolphins and Bills. Buffalo minus seven and a half. The total's 42. But before we get to the free pick, what's up, everybody? Don't forget about our new sponsor, Caesars Sportsbook. They're giving you up to $1,250 in a risk-free first bet and a 1,000 Caesars reward points and a thousand Caesars tier credits. This is big time value for all new accounts. All you got to do is download the app onto your phone and use the promo code MORNINGFUL or check out the description of the video and click on the link. I want to remind you guys, Ross is hot and you can pick any two handicappers every single one of their bowl games for just 299 bucks. Go to picksandparlays.net forward slash bowl pass to get hooked up with that. All right, Ross, so talk to me. Dolphins at Buffalo. These last week were just opposite ends of the spectrum for these two teams right here. What do you got on this one? Well, um, let me a uh, quick reminder, if I can, Ellie, that I've been in the top 10 in the NFL at Picks and Parleys all year long, still in the top 10. So uh, check out my NFL plays this week, folks. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Uh, and big-time handicappers are for big-time games. And follow me. I'll make you some money down the stretch. Yes, All right, right, Buffalo minus 7.5 in this contest. In the first meeting this year, Miami won 21-19. However, you look inside the numbers, Ali, Buffalo outgained the Dolphins in that game by a wide margin of 497 to 212. And uh, by my math, anyway, they outgained them by 285 yards in that game and managed to lose the contest. They were lined up for a game-winning field goal uh, near the end of regulation time, but weren't able to get the snap off in time. Anyway, a very disheartening loss for the Bills. Now, having said all that, that sna snapped a seven-game win streak for Buffalo against Miami. The Bills have also won their last five at home against the Dolphins, and they did so quite decisively by an average of 17.6 points per game. Buffalo comes into this contest 4-0 in their last four. Miami has dropped their last two games, and what's very concerning about the two losses for Miami is their high-powered explosive offense has gained just 308 and 219 yards in those losses. Buffalo, on the other hand, off a 20-12 to 12 home win versus the Jets, and uh, the Bills, since 2020, are 6-0 straight up and 5-1 and against the spread at home following a home win. And uh, they won those six games by an average of 19 points per contest. Uh, Buffalo owns a two-game lead over Miami in the AFC East, which is four games left to play. But that's really not the huge concern of the Bills right now. What is the concern is attaining that number one seed in the AFC. And when you consider the fact that Kansas City has the 32nd strongest schedule left in the NFL, and that's who they're tied with, they do hold the tiebreaker on Kansas City, Buffalo uh, has to win out because you can't expect Kansas City to lose a game down the stretch. If they do, they do, but chances are that's not going to happen. So the, the sense of urgency here. Uh, it is going to be high for the Bills, regardless of the comfortable lead they have against Miami right now. And here's the other factor. Miami played at the Chargers last week. It was in Los Angeles, and that's an outdoor stadium. And it was 53 degrees in Southern California. We were just talking about the weather off air. If you know anything about Southern California, 53 degrees, even at this time of year, is unseasonably cold. And they had electric heaters on the sidelines. Guess what the temperature is going to be in Buffalo on Saturday night, Ellie? Hello, something. With 10-mile-an-hour winds. Oh, my God. I heard it was like a lakefront cold or something. It's we always a lakefront cold, honey. Yeah, there yeah, it is. You know? the lakefront cold. We were talking about it on Morningwood this morning. Yeah, like, so you, you need heaters. What's a lake? Or you cold. need heaters in 53-degree weather. There's a reason why they've lost five in a row when they come to Buffalo. And... Now you're coming in mid-December. I'm going to lay to seven and a half with the Bills over the Dolphins. All right, let's do it. That's the way we're going to play it. People, don't forget, like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications. We're on every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time.